Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness and the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people for their progress and prosperity under his leadership and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Majesty sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness congratulating him on this occasion and wishing him abundant health and happiness. His Majesty wished His Royal Highness the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations with their Majesties, Excellencies and Highnesses, leaders of Gulf, Arab and Islamic countries, marking Eid al-Fitr. His Majesty the King wished good health and happiness and to their countries and people further progress and prosperity and well-being, praying to Allah the Almighty to bestow on this blessed occasion to these countries and their people progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from His Holiness Pope Francis, where His Holiness congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of Eid al Fitr, wishing His Majesty good health and happiness, and Bahrain and its people further progress, prosperity, and many happy returns. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to His Holiness for his good sentiments and congratulated him on the occasion of Easter. His Majesty praised the historical visit of His Holiness to Bahrain last year, which contributed to enhancing historical and friendship ties with the Vatican as well as consolidating the values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence among nations. His Majesty wished His Holiness good health and success in enhancing dialogue and understanding among religions, cultures and civilizations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged Eid al Fitr greetings with leaders, Crown Princes, and Prime Ministers of GCC, Arab and Islamic countries. His Royal Highness expressed his congratulations on the occasion and wished their countries and peoples many happy returns and further growth and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 37 of 2023, establishing a ministerial committee to study the naming of cities, neighborhoods, villages, suburbs, avenues, roads, squares, and intersections. The edict stipulates that the committee shall be chaired by the Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and comprise the following members the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Deputy Chairman, the Minister of Works, Member, the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Member, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Member, and the Minister of information member. The committee shall conduct studies, prepare reports and make recommendations on topics referred to it by the cabinet, ministerial committees or ministers, as well as on topics referred to it by the minister responsible for municipalities affairs regarding proposals submitted by the Council of Municipal Council and other municipal councils for naming or renaming. The committee shall convene at the invitation of its chairman at the location and time determined by the chairman. The deputy chairman shall assume the duties of the chairman in case of absence or inability to carry out their tasks. The committee's meetings shall not be valid unless attended by the majority of its members, including necessarily the chairman or deputy chairman. The committee shall issue its resolutions according to the majority of votes of the present members. In the event of a tie, the side of the meeting's chairperson takes precedence. The committee shall submit its recommendations and reports to the cabinet. The committee may request data, information and documents related to the subject within the, its competence from the ministries and relevant authorities. The committee may invite whoever deemed appropriate among experts, dignitaries and public sector employees to attend its meetings with the aim of seeking guidance from their opinions without having the right to vote. The chairman shall appoint a rapporteur who will be responsible for preparing the committee's meetings, agendas and recommendations. The meeting minutes shall be signed by the chairman and the rapporteur. Any text conflicting the provision of this edict shall be abrogated. The Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lam Salam co chaired a joint meeting with the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, in the presence of legislators representing the Southern Governorate and Ministry officials. Lam Salam commended the Royal Directors of His Majesty the King and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting housing projects and developing services. He reiterated the commitment of the Council to support all the projects and programs undertaken by the Ministry of Housing. He noted that the Ministry of Housing has so far held four meetings with lawmakers representing respectively the Maharag, Cabinet, Capital, Northern and the Southern Governorate to follow up on the progress of housing projects and services. Ramehi stressed the importance of cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities to serve citizens under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness. 
The Bahrain Art Society, in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Women, held a Jial Art Exhibition under the patronage of the President of the National Council for Arts and Honorary President of the Society, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The exhibition was held at Bahraini Women's Monument Athar with the participation of 46 plastic artists and will continue until next Tuesday. Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa highlighted the excellence of the work of participating artists in the exhibition and expressed aspirations to hold similar exhibitions and events outside Bahrain. He thanked, he thanked the CW for providing the opportunity for the Bahrain Fine Arts Society to cooperate in organizing the exhibition. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs announced that Bahrain will celebrate the first day of Eid al-Fitr tomorrow on Friday. The Ramadan moon sighting panel, which convened this evening at the SCIA headquarters, confirmed the birth of the Shawwal Crescent. The panel said that tomorrow would be the first day of Eid al-Fitr in Bahrain based on testimonies from Saudi Arabia, wishing Muslims all over the world many happy returns. The CIA extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as well as the royal family, the people of Bahrain and the Islamic world on the occasion. The Sunni Waqf Directorate confirmed the readiness of the Eid prayer halls in the Kingdom of Bahrain to receive worshippers on the first day of Eid al-Fitr. More on this report. On the advent of Eid al-Fitr for the year 1444 Hijri, and since the beginning of the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan, the Sunni Waqf Directorate has been preparing all halls and mosques for Eid prayers, as the Directorate cooperated with several government agencies in order to provide all services to worshippers during the Eid prayer. The Sunni Waqf Directorate is keen to take care of the Eid prayer halls in order to revive the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him by praying in the prayer halls on the days of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. The Directorate also seeks to provide a suitable environment for all citizens and residents in the Kingdom of Bahrain to perform Eid prayers in an appropriate atmosphere. The Ministry of Interior ensured that all prayer halls and mosques are prepared in the Kingdom of Bahrain to receive the worshippers and provided all necessary preparations to ensure the safety of citizens and residents. The Inspection Directorate at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce intensified its inspection campaigns on all governorates to monitor all shops that receive a wide turnout for Eid al-Fitr. The Directorate prepared an integrated action plan to verify the availability of basic commodities with the aim of securing the needs and requirements of citizens and residents. The Ministry calls on all consumers to report any violations through the Ministry's call center or through the National System for Suggestions and Complaints Tawassal. The Information and E-Government Authority issued its preliminary report on foreign trade statistics for the first quarter of 2023. Alba has hit a new milestone in reduction line 6 with the recent creep which was seen its production capacity increase from 400 540,000 metric tons to 560,000. Alba's chairman of the board of directors, Sheikh Adaid bin Salman bin Aij al-Khalifa, said that Alba has gone bigger with expanding Line 6 production capacity, stressing the importance of this new milestone. He said that Alba continue to strive to improve its operational productivity and efficiency while keeping Alba on track to rank as the largest smelter in the world except for China. He commended the efforts of the work teams for creeping up safely the Line 6 assets in the last couple of months, all while optimizing the fixed cost structure. 
The Ahmed Al Fatah Islamic Center has attracted more than 21,000 visitors from 110 countries in 2022. According to statistics released by the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs, and Waqf, more than 4,834 people visited the center last December, the highest monthly turnout to be recorded. Religious Affairs Acting Director at the Ministry, Dr. Ali Reyes, stressed the importance of the center, which represents one of the most prominent tourist destinations of Bahrain. He noted that the center annually attracts many delegations and visitors from all over the world, and thousands of tourists who arrived in Bahrain during the cruise tourism season last year also visited the Islamic landmark. The center's chairman, Nawaf Rashid, announced that 478 students enrolled last year at the Quran Sciences section, which employs 24 teachers. An implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to open, restore and revamp 30 mosques belonging to the Sunni and Jafari Endowments Directorates. The Sunni Endowments Council Chairman Dr. Sheikh Rashid Al Hajri announced the restoration of Abdul Latif Al Dosri Mosque in Abdiyah and Sheikh Saud Mosque in Manama. Dr. Al Hajri stressed the commitment of the Sunni Endowments Directorate to implement mosque projects and follow up on the completion of others while still underway.